Uh, we talked uh, last time you were with us, Tommy, about the Electric Power Board in the Chattanooga, Tennessee area. Of course, we're in that area as well, our studios. But uh, we are also going to have a channel on the Electric Power Board uh, system. And um, we mentioned that last time, but I think you've got, um, you have some update for us uh, about that. So yes. tell us about that. Well, the uh, EPB Power Board has, you know, come into the cable TV business and they have connected with GBN to put us on 24-7 and our channel is 152 with EPB. Okay. And they are up and going now and for those that uh, want to know if they're going to be able to receive it, they can go to their website and check and see if they're going to be able to do that. Okay. And we're excited about that. Okay. So in other words, it's going to, it is going to be a progressive thing. They won't be blanketing the area initially. It'll be a progressive thing as they add different areas of, the, of, the, of Chattanooga, right? Yeah, okay. correct. But by going to the website, viewers can see um, whether, whether or not they're covered at this point in time, et cetera, right? That's correct. Okay. And the EPB website that they need to go to, I'd like to give it to the people now, is epbfi.com. And if you go to that website, if you will look up at the top of the page, you will see it says, what is the FI life? If you go on that and click on that, that will bring up a box that will allow you to put your address in there to be able to see if you're in the area that receives it now. So uh, the epbfi.com is a place to go and then check out what is the FI life. And you'll be able to find out from that point if you're able to see, receive it at this time. All right, something else that they are offering as a part of their package is uh, high-speed internet. Yes. Right? And um, my understanding is because of the fiber optic nature of this whole set setup that that's going to be very high quality, right? As yes. far as that goes. And, and that's important for our, um, our viewers as well yes. because um, they can also watch us on the internet, mm -hmm. of course, even if, even if they um, don't have the uh, the uh, the service. I don't know if I wonder if uh, all of it will come together as far as everything, or if internet yeah. service might be available before the actual t television uh, part of it is yeah. available or not. Well, they're like a lot of other providers that have packages where you can do a combination of the TV, the high, uh, the high speed internet, and the other programs that they have. So, and you can also do it individually. Mm -hmm. But you, like you said, it will be a better quality dealing with the fiber optic cable. Mm -hmm. That will be a better quality uh, okay. picture. And so seeing us on the internet, uh, those mm -hmm. who watch the programming on the internet, uh, that would be an advantage there in terms of the quality then, right? That's right. Uh, good way. Yeah, okay, very good. Um, and uh, that uh, website, uh, go there, take a look. Uh, that would be good to know then mm -hmm. uh, kind of where things are. I, I don't know if they have. Have you noticed whether they have any projections as to uh, when they will be in areas where they are not now uh, in at this point in time? Uh, I haven't seen anything. They may have it, but I haven't seen it yet. Okay. I can look and see if what's available. Okay. All right. Well, we appreciate that, Tommy, very much. And we appreciate what Tommy does for us in terms of our follow-up with our viewers. And, uh, and corresponding with them, uh, uh, Bible questions and answers, uh, Bible correspondence courses. We talk about uh, appreciating, and we de indeed do, hearing from our viewers. So tell us uh, some of the things uh, that you've got for us today in terms of our viewer response. Tom. Okay. Uh, this comes from Larry in West Virginia. He says, uh, my name is Larry, and this study came in the mail today, and I'm so thankful to receive this study. I guess one of my family members contacted you to show their love for me and the good Lord, so the blessing is already twofold, and I'm sure I will receive many more as I do these studies. I want to first thank God Almighty for the chance to serve Him, and then I want to let you know how thankful I am for people like you who cover enough or care enough to produce these studies and take the time to check them and even pay postage. May God bless all of you that take part in this. Thank you so very much. Well, uh, obviously, it sounds like uh, someone who did care a lot about Larry and his uh, his spiritual welfare, mm -hmm. and uh, enrolled him in a Bible correspondence course, yes. and he's appreciative of that, and we're we're mm -hmm. glad that he is. That reminds us to remind our viewers that um, we do have various Bible correspondence yes. courses that are available, mm -hmm. and we mentioned before, and we want to continue to mention that when you go to our website there, uh, we link up with uh, the good folks at Truth for the World. They offer so many excellent courses 
and uh, in various languages. Right. And so people can actually actually take a course online and do the course online if they choose to do it that way. Yes. But um, And then, obviously, after they uh, are involved in the study, if mm -hmm. there are questions, then they can correspond and uh, have those questions answered. And so it's an excellent way uh, yes. for people to study in depth mm -hmm. the Word of God in the privacy of their own home. It is. And I, and I want to give credit to two of our uh, ladies who work here in the office who do most of the grading on those, Jane Dedman and Angie Haley, and they, they spend a lot of time grading those lessons and dealing with that, and we're thankful for their efforts in, in that. Indeed, and I'm glad that you, you mentioned them because uh, uh, they are concerned about the souls of those uh, folks exactly. who uh, take time to enroll, and we appreciate the time that they, they spend with that. What else do you have for us? Today? Well, this comes from Dee in Arkansas. She says, I enjoy your program, The Good News Today. People in today's world think they do not need God. I am writing in regard to a question. I like your questions and answers segment. So once again, here's a viewer who's writing uh, with a question. And not only that, she's complimenting the program and letting us know how much she appreciates it. Well, and that's another thing too, Tommy, that we've mentioned before, that we want people to let us know. Uh, uh, you know, for example, we've been lately doing, um, doing a scripture series uh, mm -hmm. each week where we stay with the same book of the Bible like we're doing this week with mm -hmm. Daniel, for example, and all of our readings coming from Daniel. And uh, it perhaps gives people an opportunity to spend a block of time with a particular mm -hmm. book for, for a week and use that book as their uh, devotional time and their study time and staying with that. And, you know, we'd like to know if people enjoy that. Uh, we yeah. won't necessarily do it every week, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, may just use various scriptures as we've done in the past. But things like that and yeah. particular segments. Uh, uh, we enjoy knowing what particular segments that we feature on Good News yeah. Today people, people enjoy. Of course, we get a lot of response to Tom's Pastime Porch yeah. <laughs> on the days that we uh, yeah. feature Tom Holland as he rocks yeah. and reminisces on the Pastime Porch. But uh, there may be uh, other segments that people particularly appreciate. And it mm -hmm. helps us to know what they particularly like, uh, and uh, so we'd like to like to hear from them. And obviously, constructive criticism as yeah. well. We uh, we uh, we appreciate that as well because we're we are trying to uh, present the Word of God, of course, uh, in its entirety, yeah. in its uh, completeness and truth and nothing but the truth. But we want to uh, we want to present uh, segments that we feel are most beneficial to our audience. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's good to have their input, isn't it? It is. It really is. And then you have another one, I think, uh, for One us. more here. This is, uh, not only do we get letters from just viewers, we get letters from preachers. Mm -hmm. And some of them we know and, and some of them we may not know, but uh, David McCain is a preacher in in oh, Texas and very fine uh, man. Yes, yeah. has association with GBN right. uh, not only as a supporter but also uh, as a friend and gospel preacher. And he wrote into us uh, about that relationship. But uh, he he writes that he is preaching in uh, the Carthage, Texas area. And and I really appreciate what he wrote here because as preachers we need that encouragement too. Mm -hmm. He says. Uh, Brethren, please, please, let me get that right, please, <laughs> easy for you to say, yeah, you know, right. uh, please keep up the good work and do not grow weary in well-doing. The opportunity is too vast. The world is too lost. The gospel message is too great. And the ultimate goals of your work are too precious for you, good brethren, not to keep up the good work. I pray that the whole brotherhood of faithful believers might learn of the good work you are doing and become involved for the glory of God and the advance of his kingdom. May God bless you for your labors in him, and may he give you the strength to keep your hands held out as you press the battle forward. Mm -hmm. So we, we love those encouraging oh, words. But beautiful? There was something else he put in here I thought was good, too. Uh, his father-in-law is a gospel preacher, yes, yes, and yes. he is on the television program, Give Me the Bible. Right, which we air on, um, on yeah. GBN, on the Gospel That's Broadcasting right. Network. And the, the thing is, he's 82 years old, right. and he's still preaching the gospel. Yeah. And, and we love to hear stories like that. That's right. Reminds us of James. James Watkins, doesn't it? Yes. James Watkins is now uh, in his 80s and oh, uh, mm -hmm. is doing the great work still. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate men like James and uh, David's father-in-law right. who, who, uh, who preach the truth and who are determined to serve until they die. You know, I, yeah. I think about Perry Cotham. He's in his 90s now, yeah. well into his 90s. And I remember an interview that was done with Perry in the Dallas Morning News, I believe, years mm -hmm. ago. And the headline from the article was, I'm going to do it until I die. You yeah. know? <laughs> That's and, a good attitude. Uh, so that, that, that's the great attitude, yeah. isn't it? We, yeah. that's, that's such an encouraging it statement is. from David. Uh, yeah. Appreciate him. David's out in the same area where my, one of my daughters and, uh, yeah. and her husband are out in the uh, Pittsburgh, Texas area. Yeah. He's in 
the Carthage area now, yeah. preaching there. But yeah. yes, uh, very, very fine man. My son-in-law preaches in Pittsburgh there, yeah. uh, Kevin Ruiz and my daughter Courtney. Yeah. And they have been most encouraged by David yeah. and other faithful brethren there. Yeah. And, and that's another thing that we appreciate is that encouragement, mm -hmm. that support of faithful brethren. And as we talk about on, mm -hmm. on the program, Tommy, because we have that uh, support and because we know that, that that's the way the New Testament teaches that mm -hmm. we are to take the gospel to the world, mm -hmm. we're not like any uh, other religious network uh, right. in that we never ask our viewers for a penny, never will, yeah, right. because the churches of Christ, individual members of the churches of Christ make possible our broadcast. And that's the New Testament pattern exactly. that uh, we are to propagate the truth of God's Word. Uh, we are to preach the gospel, but not to uh, have people pay for the gospel, mm -hmm. <laughs> so to speak. And so uh, those who uh, make this program, Good News Today, and mm -hmm. GBN, the Gospel Broadcasting Network, possible of which Good News Today is a part. They are members of the Churches of Christ and uh, uh, the congregations uh, that we feature. We mention them, list them, parts of mm -hmm. Partial list of them on every Good News Today yes. program. Um, they are they are the ones who make this program and the network possible. And our viewers can be assured they'll never be asked uh, for a yeah. penny. Everything we provide is absolutely free. Exactly. And, that, and that's the great thing about it. Yeah, Tommy. Thank you. Appreciate all that you do. We'll look forward to having you back next time right, for another thanks. in the mail segment. And right. uh, we will be right back. You may have questions or comments about Good News Today. We'd like to hear from you. Or if you'd like to receive free Bible study materials, contact us. You may write us at Good News Today, P.O. Box 23604, Chattanooga, Tennessee, 37422. Again, that's Good News Today, P.O. Box 23604, Chattanooga, Tennessee, 37422. You may prefer to email us at goodnewstoday at gbntv.org. Again, that's goodnewstoday at gbntv.org. Or call us toll-free at 1-888-805-3390. That's 1-888-805-3390. We'd like to hear from you. Hearing from our viewers is always good news to us. Well, again, we hope you'll take advantage of the contact information we have just given you. We would like to hear from you. We appreciate you so very, very much. And uh, we'd like to, uh, to hear from you, our viewers. You might like to have a copy of today's program on DVD or audio CD, and if you would like to have that copy, please request it by this program number. It is number 706. That's program number 706. We offer a free DVD or a free audio CD of today's program. We appreciate so much the fact that you've taken time to be with us for what we like to call your daily dose of the best news ever. And we hope that you will visit our website at www.gbntv.org. That's www.gbntv.org. And remember, when you go there, there's all sorts of uh, material available to you, free Bible study materials. Of course, as we've said, everything we offer is absolutely free. Thanks so much for being with us for your daily dose of the best news ever, good news today, and we look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow. Good news, good news, there is good news today. There is good news, good news around the world. Always good news, good news, good news, there is good news today. All around the world. Good news, good news, good news, there is good news today. Selected. Focus. Selected. Screen recording.